Imagine yourself cleaning the last of the icing out of a bowl with your finger, twisting your wrist to get all the way around. In Trinidad, hermit hummingbirds clean the icing out of the spikes of these Hawaiian torch blossoms hundreds of times a day. Their strongly decurved bills are built for swinging in upside down arcs, like swizzle sticks with a bird attached to the top. The little hermit doesn't feed here, but both the green hermit and the rufous-breasted hermit have been visiting this particular blossom at the Asa Wright Nature Center. When the light was good, I could tell them apart by their color. The green hermit is green and the rufous-breasted has a rufous breast. When the light was poor, I could spot the two white feathers at the end of the green hermit's tapered tail or the more rounded tail with a light border on the rufous-breasted hermit. Just for grins, see if you can tell which one this is. Maybe slow-mo would help. Can you see the white tail feathers? It's a green hermit. Now both species will visit feeders too, but they seem to feel that doing so is the equivalent of using a microwave instead of cooking on the stove. And they're good cooks. In 2018, the rainy season didn't end with December as it usually does, but continued right through January, so that the local hummingbirds were reluctant to start new nests. One hermit hummer at Asa Wright Nature Center solved the problem by building her nest in an open room adjoining the veranda. Pop quiz time. Which species is it? Those tail feathers are a dead giveaway, right? Green hermit. I'd love to know what that was about. Was she adding spider webbing to repair the nest? If so, she did it at warp speed and my eye couldn't take it in. Or was she just entering the nest in the same whirligig fashion as she flies? Slightly more controlled than a balloon with the air pushing out of it.